Hi guys, since this week is Halloween, well, Saturday is Halloween, I thought I would read this book. It's called The Runaway Pumpkin by Kevin Lewis. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a hill, when the wind blew with a chill, wandered Buck and Billy Baxter with their baby sister, Lil. And there upon that hillside, growing orange, fat, and fine, the budding Baxters found a pumpkin on a twisty, twirly vine. It was big and it was round, and the boys, their eyes agleam, gave a whoop, a yell, a holler, no finer pumpkin had they seen. And today was Halloween. Yet little Lil was cautious. And of course, she tried to warn them. But her bumbling big head brother snapped the pumpkin from its stem. And as she watched them roll it, at first real slow, but then much faster, Little Lil looked down the hill and she foresaw disaster. Round and round across the ground, making a thump and bump and sound, came that thumpity bumpity thump and bump and round and rolly runaway pumpkin. A short way down the hillside, that zooming pumpkin caught the eye of mucking Mama Baxter, who thought of Granny's pumpkin pie. Till it busted through her sty. Round and round across the ground, making a thump and bump and sound. Came that thumpity bumpity thump and bump and round and rolly runaway pumpkin. A bit farther down the hillside, just beyond the chicken coop, Grandpa Baxter saw that pumpkin and thought of Granny's pumpkin soup. Till it knocked him for a loop. Round and round across the ground, making a thump and bump and sound. Came that thumpity bumpity thump and bump and round and rolly runaway pumpkin. Now at the bottom of that hillside, where that bounden pumpkin sped, Papa Baxter on his tractor thought of Granny's pumpkin bread. But Papa Baxter used his head and quickly plowed a pumpkin bed. So at the bottom of the hillside, fat and round upon the ground, that thump and bump and pumpkin plopped and didn't make another sound. And as pigs and hens and baxters gathered round where Papa plowed, little Lil, she gathered Granny and pulled her through the waiting crowd. Buck and Billy looked really proud. Then, thumpity bumpity thump and bump and straight to the kitchen went that bumpkin. And soon after came the smell of dear old Granny's cooking something. Granny stirred and stewed and baked until the bright full moon rose up and all those hungry Baxters set themselves right down to sup. Whoa, she made a lot of things. And at the center of the table, among the soup and bread and pie, sat a grinning jack-o'-lantern with a twinkle in his eye. And that's the end of the Runaway Pumpkin. Hope you enjoyed. Love you. Bye.